<laughs> you got me. You want it? Just pointed at me and killed us. Oh, man. What if I told you the Wright brothers weren't the first people to fly? What if I said maybe somebody 10 years before that was doing the same thing every day? And what if I showed you proof of that? What would you do? Would you just blow it off or would you do something about it? Would you talk about it? Would you tell others? Well, I don't know about flying, but I do know about online video. I started one of the first ever online TV shows in 1997 and had the first YouTube 10 years before YouTube came along. Did live webcasts from 1997 on dial-up phone lines. I've really seen it all when it comes to online video. However, for most people, you think YouTube is where it all started. In 2005, they uploaded a zoo video or something, and history was made. I saw an interview with uh, Burt Wolf Travel Show. I still ain't figured out why that is, but where he talked to one of the co-founders of YouTube. And he was saying, oh, it's amazing, your imagination. How did you come up with such a great idea and nobody had anything like it? And I'm sitting there watching it as a veteran at home trying to pay my bills, take care of my family. And I'm thinking, they just announced they made $1.6 or $7 billion off this idea. And he's taking all the credit for it. It was a bit frustrating. So I was happy to have this class. I got a captive audience. I can tell the history of online video really the way it is. And nobody really knows it. And so today I'm going to show a few clips so you can actually see what I'm talking about and um, basically hopefully open your mind to not only what I've done, and get kind of old and a little bit tired, I want to see other people do it. Take these ideas, the concept of online video, like webcast, video conferencing, telemedicine, distance learning, uh, remote viewing. I'm still hoping for a holodeck in my house. I don't know what's going to happen if porn catches on, it'll be pretty addictive. But overall, a holodeck, 3D viewing, the opportunity to be able to create a world around you, step into the beach, the mountains, and all that, that's just going to change how we live. So talking about the past, when it came to online video, in about in the early 90s, I had a public access TV show. And I did some investigative reports on City Hall, which didn't go well. And it was truthful, it was honest, but I got pulled off the air, fought really hard. But that censorship drove me to look for another way. And in the mid-90s, there was really no internet. I mean, it kind of was there, but nobody really knew it. And a buddy of mine gave me an HTML, HTML book, and I was like, I have no idea what this is about. And it's a language, right, web pages. And so I put it together, and I was like, wait a minute. I'm fighting to keep my show on cable access here in local Dallas. I can go put this on a server, and anybody in the world can watch this uncensored? Oh, wow, that's a big deal. So I started doing that. And eventually, I opened up um, a web page, basically, youontv.com, that allowed me to be able to have my show available. And from that website, I mean, this is pretty much history. This is what I created in 97. I haven't really done much since, but. Um, and here, I've got a couple of video clips, both uh, the first time ever, I believe, that's documented that a human being saw a online TV show. I recorded it, I was bored. And here, a live webcast, New Year's Eve, 97, 98. This is Michael Getz and welcome to the hometown. We are here at the Harder Bar live on the internet around the world. It is New Year's. It is a few minutes into the New Year's 1998 and we are here with a heck of a lot of people having a good time. Say hello everybody. It was absolutely historic. Never in time has an individual been able to be heard around the world. If you're a band, if you're a politician, if you got a business and you're trying to figure out how to get your message out, this is huge. And so as you sit here today and you wonder about the future and stuff, I hope you'll think about it when you're watching the cat videos on Facebook later. And you'll be like, wow, that Mike Getz, he was telling me about this. This is really kind of a big deal. What can we do with this? You know, telemedicine, distance learning, you know? I don't know about the holodeck thing, but that would be cool. And I hope that, you know, if life really is a song, that we learn each of us how to play out our verse, participate, be a part of that communications revolution. That's what I'm hoping, because I'm not getting no younger, and I've done a lot already. 
And I hope that at least we can all go forward and learn from this experience and do some great things in this area. Thanks.